Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and guide video. In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can register for a Payoneer and get MasterCard on your address. So first of all, to sign up for Payoneer, open any browser and go to the website payoneer.com and this is the home page of Payoneer. To register, you have to click on register which is on the top right corner of the screen or on the left side of the screen. You can click on any of those. After clicking on register, you need to fill some forms. Now choose the option which suits you the best. I'm going to choose individual and I'm looking to choose get paid by international clients or marketplaces. And now you can read all the details about this and click on register. Now in this page you have to fill your personal details. I already filled up the details on this page. So what things you have to keep in mind while filling up the details here is you need to provide your government issued identification later. So you must enter the details that are on your government issued ID. So please check your birth date and your name correctly and please enter your email address on these two options which is email address and re-enter email address. Check all the details after you enter it and click on next. Now in this page you have to fill in all the contact details. I have filled in all the contact details here. I'll quickly explain what I did here. On the address, the number at the first is my house number. Next one is the road in which my house is. And in address line two, I have entered my locality address. So one thing is that you will get your MasterCard by postal service. So if you don't enter your address properly, you won't receive the postal mail sent by Payoneer. So please check your address properly. And in next option, enter your city or town name. I live in Kathmandu, so I entered it and the postal code for Kathmandu is 44600. If you don't know your postal code, you can just Google it like Kathmandu postal code and it shows 44600. The next option is your mobile number. Choose the country code and enter your phone number. And check your phone number twice because Payoneer will send you a verification code in that number. And after filling in all these details and checking it twice, you have to click on send code here and you will receive a verification code in your mobile number that you entered here check that code and enter it in verification code option so after entering the code scroll down and click on next now in this page you have to fill in the security details choose a password for your account with at least seven characters with a mix of letters and numbers and in the next option also enter the same password and choose a security question for you and answer that. You need these security questions for your account when you sign in from a different device. Payoneer will ask you these questions to verify that you are trying to log into your account. Now you have to choose your country and after that in id type you can choose national id driving license or passport any of these three will work after entering your driving license number or your national id number enter the expiry date of that id and in next option is the captcha enter the word that you see in the captcha now please check the details again if the details are wrong or if you make any mistake while entering these details, the card won't be sent to your address. So after finishing this, scroll down and click on next. Now in this page, you have to enter your bank details. Choose the country and in next option, choose the currency that you want to receive. I'll choose NPR, which is Nepalese rupees. Now choose the bank. After entering the account number of your bank, enter the SWIFT code of the bank that you have account in. If you don't know the SWIFT code, you can just Google it. My account is in Provo Bank, so Provo Bank SWIFT code and you'll get the SWIFT code or you can open this website in transferwise.com. You can find the SWIFT code and now what you have to do is agree to the terms and conditions. 
and agree to the pricing and fees tick that box also and now check all the details that you entered if those are correct or not and click on submit now all the forms are filled up and it's submitted and it's in review process they will review your details and send you an email it may take several days then you have changed rules now so only after you have hundred dollars in your pioneer account you will get pioneer mastercard before they used to send you mastercard just after you register for a new account but now they send only after you have hundred dollars in your pioneer account but that balance you can directly transfer to your bank account without any hassle so this is all for this video if this video was helpful to you please like this video and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share if this video will help others